Hi everyone, it's Mike from Mike's Critters coming to you with another video or two. This first one has a request for my buddy Angus. This is a tortoise. He's a Herman's tortoise, member of the reptile family, which means he has cold blood, scaly skin, and he has a backbone. Turtles and tortoises are obviously cousins, but they are quite a bit different. Turtles are typically aquatic, which means they have the ability to swim, though they usually will have flippers or web feet to move through the water better. Tortoises cannot swim except for one called the pancake tortoise, but it's always an exception to the rule in the animal world. So tortoises can't swim. They have what I just call tree stumps or elephant-like legs to carry their bodies around. This little guy I got from uh, a breeder here locally in the Lower Mainland. Awesome group, Mike Chan. And he is full grown. Herman's tortoises are a very small species, obviously, if I'm holding them like this. They are native to parts of around the Mediterranean Sea. Southern Europe, Northern Africa, and parts of Western Asia. So these little guys obviously do like the hot weather, but obviously too hot of weather is bad for anyone. And they might brumate, which is the opposite of hibernation. It's too hot, maybe less food, less water, so they dig deep underground and hide out for a couple of months or weeks until the, the climate and temperature has changed. So not being a fast animal, someone like this, they're really dependent on uh, being out of sight, out of mind. I kind of like to say their defense is pretending to be a rock. They're playing hide and go seek. They're inside their shell, not moving around, not making any sounds. And ideally, if something comes close to them, they don't notice them and they walk right on by. They are omnivores, which does mean they eat meat and plants. Uh, they'll eat whatever meat that they're able to catch, bugs, they might uh, scavenge remains of something. I do supplement that with hard boiled eggs uh, and sometimes chicken and turkey. And then they eat a lot of different types of plants. I do give them some hay, lots of greens, and certain fruits and vegetables. I noticed yesterday when I was out working in the yard, I saw dandelion starting to come up. So I'm going to wait for a bunch of dandelions to grow so uh, the bees have their first sort of food for the year. And then I will start picking the flowers and the leaves for a whole bunch of my animals. One kind of neat little thing, their shell, uh, a lot of people think they are able to detach from them and they are not. Their spine is fused to the back. Their rib cage is fused to the bottom, so they cannot escape or release their shell. So you might notice their throats pump a lot, and that's just them breathing. It's kind of like a vacuum cleaner. They have to suck air in using their throat, and then it's like they put the reverse switch on to pull the bad air out so they can get new air in. And does anyone know what their shell is made out of? So we have body parts made out of the same thing as well as quite a few other animals. It's your fingernails, your toenails, and your hair. It's keratin. And uh, there are nerves in there, so if their shell does get damaged, uh, they do definitely feel it. Depending on the damage, it can be r repaired themselves. If not, you got to take them to a vet or an auto body shop to fiberglass their shell. I don't recommend the uh, auto body shop. I don't think their belt sander will be very nice. So someone this slow, one of their adaptations I feel is their eyesight. You're this slow, you better have good eyesight so you're able to escape when certain things are sneaking up on you. Hope you guys enjoyed meeting the tortoise and now we're gonna do a mouse. So a mouse is a member of the rodent family inside the mammal family. Mammals to me, while well, mammal is you're warm blooded, you have hair or fur, you have a backbone, and you nurse the females nurse their young. This is a younger girl. She's about, well, one and a half years old. So really, I guess that's kind of middle aged in mouse years. 
You might notice she is white with pinkish eyes. She is an albino. That means she is lacking her pigments. They come out this color, pink eyes, and their eyesight is not very good at all. I've always kind of felt that bad eyesight or one bad sense for her, it's uh, their eyesight. Other senses typically tend to work a little bit better for balance and ideally for their survival. She's a mammal and in the rodent family, as I mentioned. Rodent to me means a couple things. Uh, two teeth and two gnaw. They got two front teeth that constantly grow. So they constantly have to have those teeth worn down by chewing or gnawing on things. Or it is sad their teeth can end up ending their life by not being able to eat when they're too long or growing inside of their mouth and causing pain that way. Mice are a very common animal in the pet trade and obviously in the wild. They are eaten by a lot of different animals, snakes, birds of prey, raccoons, skunks, lizards, cats, dogs, whole bunch of things, frogs. I even seen fish eat mice. And they are very opportunistic. They are a scavenger and a hunter. So they're going to eat bugs, little critters. They're going to eat fruits, veggie seeds, nuts, grains, grasses. And at my house, I do feed mine dog food and they get a little bit more protein that way. They are very fast and sort of smart little critters. So out of sight, out of mind and escaping are their defenses. Hope you guys enjoyed meeting her and the tortoise and we'll come to you with a few more critters soon. Thank you.